leaders the fight to take back the U.S. Senate seat from the extreme leftist Mark Kelly. <laughs> Kelly has completely betrayed the people of Arizona, refusing to lift a finger to secure your border. He's so bad on the border, he doesn't want to even talk about it. And on the contrary, doing everything possible to turn Arizona into a cesspool of crime, drugs, and illegal immigration. That's what he's doing. Mark Kelly is responsible for the Arizona border nightmare. He voted against the border wall. I had to fight this guy. He voted against the border wall. Think of it. He voted against remain in Mexico. Do you think that's a good thing, remain? In other words, you can't come into our country. Do you think it was easy for me to get that? Remain in Mexico until we have it checked out. Not too many people checked out, to be honest with you. And against deporting violent criminal aliens, he even voted against stopping violently ill people from entering your state. Violently ill people. Mark Kelly endorses mass amnesty, which means he wants to give citizenship to everybody. Anybody comes in, you come in, you become a citizen. And he supports sanctuary cities which means sanctuary for criminals and protection for them from the law. Mark Kelly is also culpable for the runaway inflation that's crushing Arizona families. He voted in favor of all of Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi's lunatic socialist spending bills, and he voted to support Biden's war on American energy. How about that? How do you do that? How do you do that and win? You know how you do it and win? You cheat on the election. And he supported the Democrats' radical takeover of election law, H.R. 1. You know what that is. I know he's married to a very nice woman, but he's just not doing the job, and Arizona is suffering because of it. So remember that. Remember that. This November, we're going to vote Mark Kelly out of office, and we're going to replace him with America First champion, Blake Masters. Blake. Blake is a real titan of the business and technology world. He gets it and a brilliant mind who truly supports the MAGA movement and America first. What's simpler than America first? You know, the other group, they were talking about, no, America's last. And then they were explained. The first month, remember when Biden used to say, we're not going to support America first. I said, you just can't say that. I said, that was a great name we came, but it's America first. And they want America last. They actually, I think they want, I think they hate our country. They want America last. Blake brings exactly the kind of toughness, courage, and intellectual firepower we need in the Senate to take our country to the next level. It's important to bring patriots like Blake to the Senate, which needs new energy. We do. We need new energy and some real courage, and he's got the courage. I've also looked at his poll numbers. He's going through the roof. But go out and vote, please. Let's not take a chance. Same thing with Carrie. Her poll numbers are looking so good. Go out and vote. Don't say, oh, they're going to make it. No problem. Just go out. That happens too often. People say, oh, they have it made. We had a big win, though. You saw that in Maryland, right? We have a rhino governor there, very much like Ducey, actually. Just not as good looking. Actually, Ducey's not great, but he's better looking than this guy. And Hogan, Larry Hogan, you ever hear of him? real rhino, and he supported somebody, and everybody said, I was watching Fox News, they were saying, oh no, the person he's supporting has it made. But they said, one of the people said, well, but this other person, Dan Cox, who not a lot of people had heard about, but he's very good. They said, Dan Cox has the Trump endorsement. Well, no, I know, but this person's been around, and she's going to win, it's going to be quite easy. Dan Cox won by 19 points, and it'll be great. So much for Larry Hogan's presidential ambition. All he has to do is look into a mirror and he'll say it's not going to work. 
Blake has shown in business that he has what it takes to complete and win at the highest level. He's been a big winner, done great. And now he wants to help our country, and he wants to complete it all. He wants to help. He wants to get – well, it's, I did the same thing. You know, a certain magazine, I think it was Forbes, said Trump is the only one that went into office and is worth less money today. Think of it. I watched Nancy Pelosi. She has nothing. Now she's supposed to be worth – they say I lost $600 million over the last four years, and I expected to because I didn't take advantage of the office. I could have made a fortune. I could have made a fortune. I could have made a fortune. They actually gave me credit for it, but that's the way it's supposed to be. I didn't do deals. I could have done deals. Oh, they wanted to do deals. Would you like to do a deal, sir? I could have sat behind that oval desk. I could have done deal after deal. I would have quadrupled my net worth. They said, he's the only president, and I think probably maybe the only politician. I don't want to knock all of my people that are here. But I consider that to be a positive, not a negative. It's a coarsely positive. But I didn't do this for money. I did it because we have the potential of having a great nation again, and we had it going. I'll tell you, before the plague came in from China, we had it going like nobody's ever seen. And then we had it going again where the stock market was actually higher when I left. We had to fix something that nobody knew what was going on. We closed up our country to China. If we didn't do that, it would have been much worse. But we did a great job, and we got it back. And the market was actually higher when I left. And we did so many other things. The Abraham Accords, we would have had the whole Middle East signed up. But Blake is a hardcore America first person. He's hardcore MAGA, and he demands strong border security, strong values, strong families, and strong military with no foolish and unsustainable foreign wars. We're in all these wars 21 years. They don't want us. We don't want to be there. We're spending billions and billions and billions of dollars a week. Blake is tough on crime and will fight. For our great police, he will not flinch in defeating those people that want to hurt our Second Amendment. You know, your Second Amendment is under siege. They want to kill your Second Amendment. They go after the NRA. They go after anything. It's like nobody's ever seen anything like what's happening to our country. And Blake will always stand up for election integrity. Very strong. Blake will also never sell out the Washington Look, he will never sell us out to the – and there is a Washington establishment, I learned. Many of these people are not very good. And he'll be loyal to you, and he'll be loyal to the great state of Arizona. So August 2nd, get out or early vote. Vote for Blake. And Blake, come on up. Say a few words, please. Come on up, Blake. Thank you. Mr. President, I really just wanted to thank you for saving this country. Do you agree with me? Did President Trump literally save this country? Because look, I knew that Biden-Harris was going to be bad. You knew that Biden-Harris was going to be bad. But I'll be honest, I'm shocked at how quickly They've been able to deliver all this chaos and destruction. But here's the thing. If we're suffering this badly after not even two years of Biden-Harris, imagine how bad things would be if we were right now in year six of a Hillary Clinton regime. I think after six years of Hillary Clinton, that might be game over. I think that literally would have been the end of this republic. And Donald J. Trump saved us from that fate.
And he did so much more, he delivered on his promises. He saved this country once, and I don't know about you, but I got a feeling that he's just getting started. So thank you, sir. On behalf of all of us, on behalf of Arizona, thank you for inspiring us and for fighting for America. We're going to win. Thank you, and God bless you. Terrific person. He's terrific. Those are two incredible people. Do what you have to do to get him in. You'll see a big difference, and you'll see it quickly.